Dennis Sippen. No one thought that this young woman who previously worked as an elementary school teacher would now have to change professions to continue carrying a gun on her shoulder. His new job is no joke because he is one of the sniper members of the Syrian Kurdish forces whose job is to fight the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria group, with his courage. Dennis Sippen shared weapons with farmers and housewives in Cobain City to jointly eradicate ISIS in their homeland. This struggle did not seem to be in vain because they were able to seize 50 villages in Cobain which had previously been controlled. ISIS Dennis Sippen did this all because of his nationalism which did not want ISIS to control the whole place, then they ravaged the place. He admitted that he could get these deadly rifles from the black market. Nora Husari. The Syrian conflict that broke out on March 11, 2011 has dragged down many parties. This conflict does not only involve men, in fact it also involves women and children. Carrying an AK-47 weapon, Nora Huzari dared to risk her life on the battlefield. He joined the Syrian Liberation Army, which the government calls rebels, this woman, who previously studied at Aleppo University turned out to be quite skilled at using rifles and operating in war because she previously attended a military camp in Lebanon run by a Palestinian militant faction. Ludmila Mykolovna Pavlichenko is a legendary female sniper from the Soviet Union. In fact, Pavlichenko is a history graduate from Kiev University. But because of war conditions, Pavlichenko, who was a tomboy, but then she was transferred to the sniper division to join 2,000 other women being trained to become snipers. This woman is not actually called Gavara, but because she does not want to be known by her name, she prefers to be called Gavara, after the revolutionary figure from Argentina, Ernesto Che Guevara. With the Belgian SN weapon which was his mainstay, he aimed to kill four to five soldiers every day and every time he hit one soldier, he always shouted yes. Guevara was originally just a teacher who taught English at his school. Everything changed when his two children aged seven years and ten years were killed by Bashar al-Assad's fighter plane. Guevara was originally just a teacher who taught English at his school. Everything changed when his two children aged 7 years and 10 years were killed by Bashar al-Assad's fighter plane. Killed 40 Ukrainian soldiers including civilians, wrote Revishvili on her social media account. It is known that Starikova was arrested and is currently receiving treatment for injuries. From her confession, 